So one other thing I'm quite interested in is um, weird audio formats. So back in the 90s, there was the big competition between uh, digital compact cassette and mini disc. I was very firmly in the mini disc side, although I couldn't afford one at that stage. I bought one when I finally went to Finland. Um, but I always thought it was pretty cool. So mini disc versus digital compact cassette. Um, I didn't really see much point in VCC. Um, you know, having CDs with their random access, then, um, you know, mini discs made more sense to me. So I think this is one of the first mini discs I made, combination of um, basically a mixtape of um, CD and tape. So, uh, yeah, but finally I got some DCC players. I believe this one doesn't work. This one needs to repair. So I don't know, should I put in, should I try it with, uh, should I try it with a um, pre-recorded DCC? Oh, you can just see the Metallica. <laughs> or should I try it with a, um, with a normal blank DCC? I think I might try it with that. I think you could also, how does it go back in like that? I think you can also play normal tapes uh, in these as well. Anyway, so I believe this doesn't work. Let me get a power cable and check. Okay, plugged in, power is on. No cassette. Okay, that ejected okay. So far, so good. Now, let me uh, let me move. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, DCCs and normal cassettes go in like that, I believe. That is the right way. Does some reading first. Okay. Nope. Okay. Pretty sure I've got something on that tape. So that could be why it's not working because it's not working. Okay, let's try Metallica. So definitely not working. Likely, likely reason, be mechanical, I guess. For an order, for a normal cassette, I don't. <laughs> I've only got a Amstrad, Amstrad tape handy, but they go in pretty much the same way. So that was the benefit of DCC was that it was you know you could use your uh, normal compact cassettes. And that's not playing either. Okay. So yeah, so this is a DCC player 600, DCC 600. Let's open it up and see if it's some sort of mechanical issue. Cheeky cheeky. Torque screws on the sides, <laughs> not normal uh, Phillips heads. Okay, all the torque screws are out. Interesting uh, spray pattern. Okay. So here's the inside. Some foam there, some foam there. First time I've seen inside one of these. A belt there. Okay, don't touch any of that because it's plugged in and powered on. Um, 
So maybe I should look online. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see too much. Um, let's try a tape anyway. Okay. That way around. Look how it goes down. Okay, okay. So I'm thinking, okay, that's some sort of quality control, analog, di digital, something, something. So pressing play. some sort of head that engages there I'm thinking well, so that belts just for eject is it yeah it looks like it so I'm thinking I might have to just maybe pull pull this out and maybe look at the service guide first Yes, I think I'll do that. I thought before I had a thought before I do anything else, I might just try with you know definitely with something that works, what should work. Metallica, pre-recorded. So does its reading I'm supposed to okay, so what about Let's fast forward, let's backwards, we'll rewind. A, B, change, nothing happened. This certainly sounds like something is like some sort of gear or motor is just free spinning in there maybe. Okay, let's see.